What you see when you come to the London Conservation Center is very special and very unique. Most museums of art do have conservation labs, but typically they're hidden away somewhere behind the scenes. Museum goers before might have heard of conservation, but it would have just been some lab somewhere in the non-public space. We decided to do something really revolutionary and make it a feature of what you'd see here. And now the average visitor to the museum who may not even know about conservation will be able to see people doing the, the work that they've heard of. Well, the Lender Center is comprised of five labs where we work on objects, paintings, in painting, paper, and frames. Uh, sometimes you become very intimate with a piece and you, and you get to know it and you discover things about it that the casual observer might not notice. The portrait of the man with the curly white wig is from the 1750s and he has had a very rough life. He's got big tears. What will be done in this case, all of the discolored varnishes will be taken off and the dirt layers, which are interlayered. The painting will then be re-varnished with a synthetic varnish easily removable in the future, and the losses will be filled. Each little tiny loss will be filled with a gesso so that the losses are the same level as the rest of the painting. And then each of those little tiny losses with will be filled and uh, in-painted with uh, an easily removable palette of colors. Conservators today make sure that whatever they do to a, an object, an art object, can be undone by somebody else in the future. So all of the work that they do is reversible. All of the work that they do is very carefully documented as well so that people in the future can go back to their records and know what they've done to the object. The idea being that in the future there will be techniques and there will be equipment that will be very different from today and maybe there'll be a better technique, a better way of conserving the object in the future. And I think seeing works of art behind the scenes um, Maybe like seeing actors be before they come out on a stage, uh, I'm not quite sure, but maybe getting into the makeup part of the theater might be a little bit like seeing a work of art kind of without its face on. Artwork is an expression of our culture, and it's a record of who we are, really, and that's why it's so important to keep these things stable and in con good condition for generations to come.